New opportunities have opened within the last few months. And this will be even greater. All over the United States and all over the world, doors have been opened that have been closed in the past to Negroes. The great challenge that we face is to be ready to enter these doors when they open. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson said in a lecture back in 1871 that if a man can write a better book or preach a better sermon or make a better mousetrap than his name, even if he builds his house in the woods, the world will make a beaten path to his door. This, this will, will become, become increasingly true. That means we're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to burn the midnight all sometimes. We're going to have to take advantage of new opportunities, and we must set out to do our life's work so well that nobody could do it better. I'm Gerald C. Rivers. Uh, I'm an actor and an artist, and I guess <laughs> I am most known for my, what some would call renditions, what others would call channeling of the late, great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Just look at this man's background. Will you look down that? But honey, that's the spirit of the Lord. Anytime you can sound like Dr. King, you somebody. I grew up in Compton in the 80s when it was ranked among the most violent in terms of its murder rate per capita on the planet. I didn't really enjoy high school and had absolutely no intention of going to college whatsoever. But somebody gave me a scholarship. I was acting already and I enjoyed the words and the works of the late great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. They had a talent show in the student auditorium. And I did some I Have a Dream from the Martin Luther King speech, and I won. The wisdom of Martin Luther King, it really changed my entire perspective on life. The other thing we have to do if we're to realize the American dream, we've got to get rid of the notion once and for all that there are superior and inferior races. We must make it clear all over this land and all over the world that a doctrine of white supremacy or a doctrine of any racial supremacy has no basis in anthropology, has no basis in scientific thinking, and has no basis in morality. The show that I put together is called What Do You Dream Of? Mm -hmm. And it is literally allowing me to take this message not only of peace and love and brotherhood, but of visioning. And it has two speeches. One is the... I have a dream speech which mm -hmm. people are so familiar with and the other is the American dream speech which which was the birth of the I have a dream speech mm -hmm. but the show really looks at those two speeches and there's some other um, kind of characters I've been talking to people over the years so there's a reflection from his grandmother there's a reflection from um, various people in the community and how they saw King because we each saw them differently depending on our particular set of circumstances so the show really just says everybody can see the same situation differently. Right. The truth is, what do you see? And more than what you're getting from this world, hmm. what are you giving? Dead dream, dead dream of unity. I think it made everyone here think differently and it really made them want to help the world. I know it made me want to help the world more. It's made it his life's work, uh, his life's work to uh, uplift and to inspire millions. That's the amazing thing. When this man, he came up and he gave his speech about Dr. King, it changed me. Mason called me today and he said, hey, I, I heard this guy yesterday. He's going to blow you away. He does an, an MLK rendition, and, and I talked him into coming in, and he's going to do it for us. The thing, Steve, you didn't tell me was how much he sounds oh, exactly yeah. like him. Let's just know that today we came to experience something like never before. What struck me yesterday when I heard it at church was wow, how real it feels and how it feels like it's happening right now. Dear Mr. Rivers, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a great man. He was a very important man. He taught me how to be brave. 
Dr. King inspires me every day. What's most important is that he showed us the right way to direct our future. That helped me learn that if someone hates you, don't hate them back. I learned that you should never give up, no matter what. Gerald, I can't believe how similar you can make your voice. I thought it was the original speech with the crowd noise edited out. I felt as if I was in the crowd watching the actual Martin Luther King Jr. speak. What I just heard, and I swear to God, it, to me it was him now. Damn. I can't even breathe right now thinking, if these are the words that really he said, do you know how starved the world is to hear something that refreshing and that real? You have a talent that teaches old and young people about one of the greatest men in American history. You taught me a very important lesson, and that lesson was you can do anything if you try. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Confident, brave, and strong. I truly think you gave it all you had to make this performance special. I could see that you were speaking from the heart, and that means you truly care. Your speech made me realize that all people should be treated equally and fairly. Sincerely, Ace and Ashida. This show is designed to push people, to prod them, to create an impetus, mm -hmm. to say to them, you have a unique gift, a set of talents, abilities, capacities that can only be brought through you on the face of the earth at this time in human history. I'm challenging you to do yours. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word of song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. Our brother Gerald Rivers, remember that name, Gerald Rivers.